Hi, this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games, and I'm here with a uh, video guide for the uh, first of your four characters on Heroes of Ruin. So we've got the Architect, um, not very levelled up at the moment, just level five. Um, but I'm just going to show you some basic moves, and um, then I'm just going to show you the skill tree and um, just the um, stats as well. So here we go. Let's just have a quick look. Okay, so here is our architect, and um, obviously it's just the uh, thumb controller to control your character. Now your cross pad you can use to uh, down auto cells up. You pick up your items that are relevant to your character, and um, your potions, which are shown with red and blue for your health and your magic you use the cross pad um, on that one as well left and right to um, refresh yourself and obviously um, in the midst of battle make sure you don't die so your quick um, attack here is just a simple button press away and you can assign all your keys as well so there's no issues if you want to make different keys do different things so um, you've got your basic attack there and whatever key you've assigned and uh, then you can use your other keys for stunning your enemies some simple magic as you skill up obviously you can uh, do some much more impressive attacks and um, obviously you can look at protecting yourself as well your charge attack you just hold down yeah, basic attack button and let it go. Your left button is just for um, talking to, um, interacting with objects and also talking to characters. And your right button, I will show you as you move, is your evade. And it's a pretty nifty evade we've got here. When you use it in connection with um, the, with the um, pad, with the joy pad, you are going to be thumb controller you are going to be evading when just holding down on the right you are going to be blocking so that's the very basic moves there and uh, what I'm going to do now is I am going to show you the skill tree okay so here is our skill tree and we have got warlock first of all so we've got arcane bolts. Arcane bolts send a wave of magical bolts homing in at enemy targets. And as you move on through, you can get gravity bomb. Lobs an explosive relic at your enemies. On impact, it creates a vortex that seizes and stuns foes. After that, you can get repulsion field. And uh, repulsion field blasts back and deals damage to nearby enemies at max rank it offers the same protection to nearby party members you're going to need arcane bolts skill for that one first and you'll also need gravity bomb for the next one first which is elemental blast which is a charge shot of arcane force that replenishes your health when it kills an enemy finally in warlock we have got time warp which you will need um, both elemental blast and repulsion field time warp speeds up your movement and attacks as it slows your enemies at max rank it also enhances nearby party members so we are going to move on to the next one which is um, sorcerer and uh, start off with uh, pain siphon which replenishes health when you score a critical hit at max rank does the same for nearby party members. Energize gives you a massive boost to your energy regen and speed at max rank. It does the same for nearby party members again. The next one you're going to need to paint Siphon 4 and that's Lightning Strike. Blast enemies in front of you with electric power, dealing damage with a chance to stun enemies hit. And uh, the next one is Terror Ward you will need energize for and uh, terror ward punishes enemies that strike you giving you a chance to send them running in terror as they take damage 
finally we've got Shadow Mancer. Enhances your teleportation, evade, making it travel faster and causing a burst of power that knocks back enemies. So finally, we will move on to Evoker. And uh, first of all, we've got Death Mist. Now, Death Mist places a zone of corrosive power on the battlefield, damaging enemies within its grasp. Followed up by Relic Hunter, gives you a chance to activate a buff that enhances your damage or energy regen when you quick sell or collect items. Next up, you can get War Mage, which you'll need Death Mist for. War Mage increases the damage of all your spells, gives you a chance to drastically regain energy when you kill an enemy. We've then got uh, Phalanx, which you'll need Relic Hunter for. Phalanx summons a whirlwind of spectral spears around you, damaging eminent enemies. On release, the spears fly in all directions. Finally, we've got Solar Beam, which you'll need War Mage and Phalanx for. It's a channel blast of fiery power, killing a foe with its creates a protective sphere of power around you. So just coming out of there, we're going to go into your stats and you can see your might, vigor, soul and all your other essential stats, energy, health, etc. So that is it for this video. I'm going to leave it there for this quick, quick guide and I'll bring you the next character very shortly. This has been Tim at Latest 3DS Games. Thanks for watching.